Something that catch a lot of people out on these 4GX1 engines is a blocked map sensor or manifold absolute pressure sensor. Now this basically looks at the vacuum or pressure that is running in the air intake on the intake manifold. Because it's turboed it goes uh, about 14 psi of boost so it needs to look at your pressures all the time to keep the engine safe. But what happens is there is a, a pipe which runs a pipe which runs from the bottom of the map sensor under here under your exhaust gas recirculation valve which is a pain in the ass. Um, I'll come to that in a minute and it runs the pipe runs into the side of the block and the hole where it enters into the block can become blocked so what I'm going to do now is actually check that to see if it's blocked or not and some of the symptoms of a blocked uh, map sensor hole is uh, no acceleration struggling to get up to 100 k's an hour just doesn't run very well but I haven't checked this in many years so I'm gonna have a look now and see what it's like but I've actually uh, deactivated the exhaust gas recirculation valve um, only because it puts soot and rubbish back into the air manifold so I'm going to take this off and we can, it'll give us slightly better access to that hole underneath I've taken the exhaust gas recirculation valve off which you don't necessarily need to just so I can get access to the map sensor pipe that leads into the block so we're going to check that this isn't actually blocked in the manifold see the inside of the exhaust gas recirculation valve it's pretty grubby it's been bypassed so it's not actually hooked up to anything so it stays permanently closed so what you got to do is get one of these silly clamps off here like that Pull the hose off. And what we're going to do is I'm going to find a drill that fits down this hole and just twist it in and clear it out. So you could use anything for this. I've got a two and a half millimeter drill bit. Don't lose it in there. Going to say hold on to it. That feels pretty clean to me. And just to be double check, we've got a thing called a pipe cleaner which old guys used to use to clean their pipes as in tobacco pipes right that's pretty good nothing in there that is clean that won't give us any problems so that is how you check your map sensor for a blockage in there um, that can cause you problems a quick explanation of how this works so this looks for boost the computer is looking for boost on this. If the computer can't see any boost, appear on here and boost is pressure entering this little box, it won't add fuel uh, because of the emissions. Where with a mechanical pump, where you put your foot down, it'll add fuel even if you're doing 500 RPM and you'll get the black or rolling coal out the back. But these won't roll coal because this guy is always checking the actual boost pressure. So if that hole's blocked, it can't see pressure, it won't add fuel, your truck won't go very fast, it'll be a slug. So that's a quick explanation. Oh, and another thing, I've got a split in the pipe there too, which isn't any good, so we'll have to replace that with a piece of something. So that's your map sensor, and we'll just replace it with a bit of fuel hose, that'll be fine. And we'll put a clamp on it just to make sure we're not going to lose any pressure just be careful you don't kink it as you bend it out give it some extra length okay so this is what happens when you start mucking around with a truck that's 20 years old other stuff starts to break so we've found the split in the hose but now i'll have to replace this hose but i've got to get off the end of the map sensor now this has gone dry and hard in here and if i try and pull that out guess what i'm going to snap the stem off the map sensor and then you're going to be up for 150, 150 bucks a few pineapples to buy a new one so get your knife out and cut down the side be careful not to cut into the plastic T or plastic pipe that comes out of the map sensor that way you're not going to snap it off and cause yourself issues
This is what I mean by splitting it off, cut the end off and then run your blade down the side and that will hopefully come off like that. There you go, you just saved yourself 150 bucks. So the new bit's on, we'll reuse that clamp, it feels pretty good and we'll run that on the side of the engine and we'll curl that back in and into the hole in the manifold. Done. Okay, so the map sensor's been all fixed up now. New cable, new hose, long enough so it doesn't have any kinks in it and we're just going to throw the exhaust gas recirculation valve back in now which isn't actually used but just keeps the hole blocked and we're done. So I hope that's of some help. Anyway, if you've got sluggish performance this could be the problem, so go and check that that hole's not blocked. Under there, on the hose into the intake manifold. Thanks for watching, see ya.